Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jesse and today what I'm going to be doing is installing a heat shield onto my MB1. The previous owner installed the MB2 header because it's a little bit better. I'm in California, so I don't really like how the stock NB2 header looks. The NB1 is cast iron, so it's a little bit different. This is supposed to give a little bit of horsepower, not much, but like I said, the previous owner did it. So what I did is I went on eBay and I was able to pick up a NB2 heat shield for around 40 bucks. I made an offer. You really have to check eBay frequently. I went to a pick apart to try to find the NB2 heat shield, but what ended up happening is whenever the NBs in California go on sale, they basically get stripped immediately. The header, the heat shield, everything's usually gone. So you have to resort to eBay. They're very rare. Not a lot of people sell them. You can find them for decent prices. I'll link in the description what hardware I ended up using because again, I just bought the heat shield. This didn't come with any hardware. You wanna make sure that you buy stainless steel hardware because you don't want it to rust. All right, so here's the heat shield for the NB2. So the NB1 heat shield will not fit onto the MB2 header. So they don't sell limited quantities of these stainless steel bolts and nuts. So you have to buy a quantity of 25, which is fine. I'll just have some spare ones. I paid about 15, a little like 16 bucks with tax. So right there you can see, and I'll link this in the description. But those are the ones that I picked up and already threaded them, pre-threaded them just to see how they would work. And they fit perfectly. So this is the hardware that you need. And again, it's cheaper than going to Mazda and getting OEM ones because I'm pretty sure each of these would probably cost like two dollars or a dollar But you're at the same price and I got more if I need them First thing you're gonna want to do is remove the air intake so that you're able to reach the header easier and get the heat shield mounted Just showing you guys the stock OEM NB2 header pretty much stands out. So if you were to get a smog check Obviously, it's not aftermark. I'm gonna install that heat shield just so it looks a little bit more OEM Here's a finished product with the MB2 heat shield on the MB2 header. So during the smog visual, it looks OEM. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. <laughs> 